Flexible work arrangements is the key to balancing between career and family," said mothers who attended the Reach conversation on women, babies, and career on Thursday. So you used to work full time, right? Did you have to give that up because of your child? Yes, definitely.、Uh, I worked full time. My hours were not always very long, but when they were long, I would be in the office till nine, ten p.m. every night,、uh, consecutively for about two, three months.、Uh, so I didn't get to see my baby when I came home, which was very、uh, upsetting for me. And eventually, I decided to move out of it、uh, entirely and、uh, start up my own、uh, social enterprise, and also, you know, work part time here and there. Yeah. Was it very hard to sacrifice your career for your kids? Yes, yes. Because I mean, at the end of the day, you spend many years building up your career, and you, you, you know, when you are growing up, you have your idea that you're going to have this kind of a career at this level. You're going to be a director, and then you have a kid, and everything changes overnight. And some, suddenly you realize that there are other things that are just as important, which is your baby and your family. And now it's much better because they are older. So I, so I actually bring my、uh, office at home. So working at home make a lot difference. So I can look after them、uh, while doing my work. But for some, returning to work after having children is not an easy process. I think it can be done better, especially for working mother. Because I was a working mother, I know that we. Get some prejudice or discrimination, but by, by especially by the male bosses. Yeah. What kind of prejudice or discrimination do you receive? Some remarks and and、uh, some cynical remarks, like when after our maternity leave, they're saying that oh, we just come back from holiday when we are the rest are all working very hard, you know. <laughs> so we do have quite a few moms that come forward to say that. Based on this pro family balancing, if they've taken some time off work, they want to go back to work.、Huh? The questions they are asked at interviews are very non.、Um, actually, the bright words. It's a bit discrimi- discriminating. Questions like,、uh, so you have three children. So if you have to stay late, are you sure you can stay late? For moms who prefer to stay at home and take care of their children, this mother feels that they could be the answer to Singapore's fertility woes. We were talking about you know raising,、um, having more babies, creating more babies. Actually, stay-at-home moms are the ones who will want to have more babies. So you should actually give more encouragement to the stay-at-home moms and not to the working moms. You know, the stay-at-home moms are the ones you know because they are really since they are at home, they don't mind having more actually. So you know, you, I think the so far the focus has been wrong. They have been focusing on all the working moms. You know, but working moms are actually very. A lot of them are, you know, some of them are career minded. So you know, to them, they have to strike a balance between their career and the kids. But to the stay-at-home mom, it's only the kids. It's all about the children. What benefits do mothers want for their children? Find out in our other clip.